On the line we have James. James, how are you doing? You, sir. How are you doing? Good, thanks, and you? I'm very well, thanks. Good, good. James, you're a Jeppy boy. Yes, sir. You know, I'm an old Jeppy boy too. Oh, really? Indeed. Sure, but what year? Oh, we don't want to go there, eh? We don't want to give away too much information here. Okay. But I'll tell you anyway, 1985. Sure. It's a long okay. time. Right, James, uh, give us your question. Yeah, um, okay, the first term of a geometric sequence is 9. Yeah. And the ratio of the sum of the first eight terms to the sum of the first four terms is 97 to 81. Okay, just hang on there. Sum of the first eight to the, the sum of the first four terms four is 81. 97 over 81. 97 to 81. So, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so the ratio, which is really division. Okay is 97 over 81. Okay, okay yeah. carry on. Find the first three terms of the sequence if it is given that all the terms are positive. Find the first three terms if it is given that all the terms are positive. Okay, yeah. good question, James. Thanks for okay. calling in with it. Thanks, okay. First term is 9, so the A is 9. Yeah. And we told that the sum of the first eight terms divided by the sum of the first four terms is 97 over 81. So when they talk ratio to you, they're telling you to divide the two quantities. Okay? Okay, so let's have a look at this. Our first term is 9, and the ratio of 8 terms to 4 terms is 97 over 81. So what I've done on the screen is I've just gone S8 over S4, 97 over 81. They've okay. also told us that this is geometric. Yep. Okay. So we're going to be using our geometric sum formula, which is Sn is A, R to the N minus 1 over R minus 1. You happy so far? Yeah, okay. So we've got the geometric formula, and we've got the type of sequence which, which is geometric. James, you do quite well at maths, or um, a bit of a struggler? I uh, do all right. Eh? Okay, yeah. good. Well done. Yeah, thanks. Okay. So here we go. S8 over S4. Okay. S8 is A R to the 8 minus, minus one, 1 over R minus 1. You happy? Yeah, okay. Give me S4. S4. Can I, can I say... I said R minus 1 over A, then open brackets, R to the 4 minus 1. Okay, you're turning that around, yeah. so that's 1 over S4. So I could cancel out the A, so it'll be easier. Okay, but let's, for the sake of the viewers at, at home, we don't want okay, yeah. to do too many steps at once. We want to take this slowly, okay? Okay. So S4 is A... A R 4 minus 1. Yeah. Over R minus 1. Okay. So, very important, back home... You can see the division line right over there. And I'm dividing the S8 by the S4 with this yellow division line happening over there. And the question tells me that S8 over S4, that's why I've worked out S8. I don't know what R is, but I do know what A is. Yeah. And here is S4. I've got the division of two fractions, and that's what you were saying earlier on. Just kind of invert and multiply. Yeah. Great. Okay, so if we look at what we've got now, let me try and get this a little bit further down. There we go. There we go. So if we look at what we've got, oh, it's not working for me here. There we go. Okay. So we've got here the a r to the 8 minus 1 over r minus 1 times r minus 1 over a into r to the 4 minus 1. Absolutely yep. right. The a's cancel, the r minus 1's cancel. I'm left with r to the 8 minus 1 over r to the 4 minus 1. 
And James, I'm guessing that's where you got stuck. Yeah, yeah. You've got to factorize. Yes. And, and the way you factorize is you factorize the r to the 8 minus 1 using the difference of two squares. Okay. And what happens then is those two, the r to the 4 minus 1 on top and the r to the 4 minus 1 in the bottom, cancel. Okay? Uh, yes, okay. And that ratio now becomes r to the 4 plus 1. Yeah. So what we've done in all of this is we've shown that S8 over S4 simplifies to R to the 4 plus 1. And we just basically substituted directly into the two formulae and did the nice algebra. The tricky part was that R to the 8 minus 1 over R to the 4 minus 1, and that needed us to factorize using the difference of two squares. Okay. The question tells us this is 97 over 81. So that becomes 97 over 81. Taking the 1 across, we get r to the 4, if you work out 97 over 81 minus 1, you're going to get 16 over 81. Happy so far? Yes. Yeah. Right, to get rid of the fourth root, we've got a, to get rid of the power 4, we've got a fourth root to both sides. Yeah. And this 16 over 81 is the same as 2, 2 over 3, 2 over 3 all to the power 4. So yeah. 16 is 2 to the 4, 81, 3 to the 4. So yeah. R is 2, over, two three. over 3. But because this power is even, the R could be positive or negative. Yeah. Okay. Now let's go back to the point where they say let's work with positive terms only. Let Let's say you've got an R which is minus 2. Okay. And your first term, let's say, is 8. Then what's your next term, James? Um, well, can you not substitute that R into there? Yeah, so oh. your next term, your oh. second term. Oh, 6. No, T2 would be AR, right? T2 is AR to the okay. 1. So A, 8 times R minus 2 would give you minus 16. Minus 16. Because if your R is minus 2 and your A is 8, I'm just okay, okay. I'm taking... Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. No, 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 yeah. Okay. Now, if I, what's my next term after that? Okay, it would be 32, yeah. And the one after that? Um, well, 32 times negative 2. So. Yeah. So do you see what a negative R does? Yeah. It makes the signs of the terms alternate from positive to negative. Okay. And the question said you must have positive terms only. Okay. Happy? Yes, thanks. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to your question, which says positive terms only. We got an R of plus or minus two-thirds. Happy? Yes, okay. But because we want positive terms only, we're not going to take the minus. Okay. So, I'm sitting in a situation now where I've got A is 9, and R is positive two-thirds. Okay. How do I find the first term it's given? Yeah. How do yeah. I find the second term? You just times it by 2 over 3. So 9 times 2 over 3. Okay. That gives me 6. How do I find the term after that? Okay, you times it as well. Yeah. So I'm going to go 6 times 2 over 3, which gives me 4. Okay. And those are the first three terms of your sequence. Okay. Did we help you there, James? Yes, thanks a lot, eh? Well done. Good question. Thanks a lot, eh? Okay. Thanks. thanks. Keep well. Bye. Bye. That was James with a great sequences and series question about the ratio of the sum of eight terms to the ratio of the sum of four terms. It sounds terrible. The wording of it, the sum of the first eight, the ratio of the sum of the first eight to the, to the sum of the first four, you get paranoid and petrified maybe. No need to. It's just the S8 over the S4 substitute into the formulae. Do careful algebra and you're going to come out with the answer quite easily.